Earlier, I showed you how to merge several objects together permanently so that you could apply a filter. In this case, I'm gonna make another smart object so it's merged non-permanently in case I need to step in and make a change later. Inside the Layers panel, make sure you choose the Smart Object, you'll also see the Stack Mode indicated on the right, and the Cloned Layer. You can now right-click and choose to make another Smart Object with both of those stacked inside. Now, what we can do is apply the Camera Raw Filter. Filter, Camera Raw. This makes it easy to evaluate the image and look for any clipping. In my case, I'm more interested in sharpening, so I'm going to drag that down, and holding down the Option or Alt key, I could better see things like the radius and the masking, so I could better control what is being sharpened, as well as affect the noise. And I like that Option or Alt modifier to make it a bit easier to see things. Let's go ahead and grab the Graduated Filter tool here, and I'm gonna drag down from the top. In this case though, I just wanna make a slight change to the exposure, pull it down about a stop at the top. We can go ahead and turn off the clipping indicators now. And what I'm looking for here is a little boost in color. Remember, you have the ability to mask. So in this case, I'm gonna range mask based upon luminance. And if we take a look at that mask, we can see it and watch how we can better affect where it's applied. So if I drag the lower end of that range mask, it starts to ignore the trees and limit the effect of the range mask to just the sky, which is desirable. Let's go ahead and turn that overlay and mask off. Now let's leave that overlay on so we can see the controls, so we can refine that, and then I can turn that off if I don't wanna see the on-screen controls. And that makes it really easy here to adjust. You'll see options like dehaze, a little additional sharpening, and we can really get a nice sky. I'm gonna add another one here click and drag on the foreground. In this case, I'm not interested in darkening that so much, but what I'd like to do is see a pop in clarity and a little bit more dehaze. There we go, right about there. A little less saturation, just to bring out the foreground. And that looks great. Now, in this case, we're just about done, but remember, you can take advantage of any other tools. So if needed, you can add a simple curve. For example, we can lift those midtones up a little bit, nice and easy, or we could take advantage of any other control here to further stylize the image. When I'm ready, I'll click OK, and it's like I was working with a new RAW file. You'll see the images updated with the new settings that I've applied. And in this case, our very busy scene is now an empty scene, and it works quite well. Remember, I shot with a stylized lens. That's why I have this built-in vignette and blur. If you don't want that sort of technique, you can just use a traditional lens and the technique will work exactly the same.